when it comes to ibadah and how we worship Allah, our ibadah must be based on the way the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam worshipped. He is an example for us to follow alayhi salatu wasalam. And we mentioned yesterday that from the conditions of ibadah to be accepted is that it must be according to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Another important benefit from this hadith is the importance of when it comes to ibadah and a'mal and worship that we don't simply rely on our own intellect. And we don't come to our own conclusions, but we go back to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Right? And there is, there is no room for us to simply come to our own conclusions in terms of how we are to perform ibadah and worship for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Rather, when it comes to ibadah, it is tawqifi Right? We stop where the text stops We go where, where the Quran tells us to do and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam That's how we establish our ibadah and our relationship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala